Alright, see if I can't start this one a little better. Uh, first thing I want to do is just select a drawing to work with. We need to cut out the outside and the two square holes. I want to select this and then group it. I want to right click on it and hit copy. Then I want to put it in its own file. So we'll just say file, new, blank design, OK. Right click and paste. So now we have our drawing in here. While it's highlighted, I want to say line ungroup. Um, see if this is un that I have to say is ungroup. I want to select individual lines, so we're going to select everything again. Um, sorry, say line. I'm sorry, edit select all. I'm having so much trouble today making these recordings. I'm trying to go too fast. It takes a long time to upload these to YouTube. And uh, I'm going to say line intersect. It takes a long time to upload them to YouTube, so I'm trying to get as much information in a shorter period of time. Okay, the only thing I want to save out of this drawing is this little square box, the outside of this drawing, and these two square holes. So this square hole and this square hole. So I'm, I want to select it all again since I've intersected it and, and then holding down the control key I want to just start deleting off lines and um, let's see if we can't get a bunch at once. No, of course. Just start holding the control key and select multiple items. I want to leave just the outside and the two square holes. So we'll move around here and we'll have to also move this off and see if we've left any um, <coughs> that line I don't want to take. Just the inside lines. I want to leave the outside shape. I'm going to go ahead and get all the lines without talking. Look at that real good. Um, now what I want to do is I want to copy what's highlighted red, move it off of this, delete everything that's underneath here in case there's other lines. And um, so I'm going to group these. While they're grouped. I'm going to drag them off. I want to select everything that was underneath them. And just delete it. We don't need any of it anymore. And there's our outside. Now I, I need to ungroup it. So we'll uh, click on it again. I left a circle in there. I don't really have to delete it out, but that's all right. We'll ungroup it. Delete that circle. It <laughs> looks like it knew what I was making a mistake on. Okay. I want to select everything again. I see a little spot right here. I, sometimes it's the monitor. Sometimes uh, it's actually a leftover line. But we'll select it all again and group it. I'm going to hold down a control key and take this square out of this group. And then say line group click off of it and back on. I don't see any errors. Um, so we'll go ahead and save this. And I already tried this once and had to start this recording over so because uh, I messed up. We're going to save it as that. Overwrite it. We're going to export it with the same name. Same thing. 
Then we're going to open this in D2 and C and see if there's any errors in the drawing. Click on D2 and C out of Mach 3. No. CAD import outside. Open. Next. Bottom left. Offset. Okay, there's a problem with this square, and there's a problem with the whole entire outside of the drawing. So, somewhere I have a line not intersected, and it probably looks like it's right here, and right here, and there's a line not intersected here. They have to be a closed, actual closed um, shape. So, I'm going to go back to the drawing. And this box will start with first, we'll ungroup everything. Then I want to select this. We probably, there's so many pieces in this box that I'm going to zoom to that. and click off of it and see if we can see what it is. I don't see what it is. All right. I'm going to click on the box and draw one right over the top of it. Hopefully that group that. Now I want to um, hit equals. Come out. Click on the screen here. I'm going to draw a line from here to its corner. I'm going to grab this box, pull it out of here, grab everything but that line and delete it out of there in case there's an extra dot or something. Take this, stuff it back on the line, and drop, delete the line out. Okay, now I need to actually determine, ah, see that little dot? Hold on just a second. I want to group all these pieces again. Let's hold down a control key and select all these outside pieces and see if I left something open here. You can usually tell by looking at it. Um, I have a lot less on the screen now. I probably did not pick that little piece. So I did there. I need to go through. Um, there's a little piece right here. Pick these. Make sure you gotta make. Uh, I clicked on the same one and deselected it. You gotta make sure you don't miss anything when you group it. There could be a tiny little line you leave out, and it, it'll keep it from being a closed group. There's a tiny line right there I just left out. I grabbed it that time. It's hard to see the black and the red, but if you look at the little lines, that see if you don't see this is not red here. I deselected it. All right. I want to, while that's highlighted, I want to look at it really close and make sure that every little line is in there. And I'm, everything looks pretty uniform, but right here, this section looks different than this section. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick from the end of this radius to this end of this radius right here and draw a straight line. And I'm, I'm going to come over here and go from the end of this radius to the end of this radius and draw a straight line. Um, because I've got I've got too many too many little lines there where I could have just one little spot not connected. I also see a double dot right here. That looks like it's not connected. So um, let me take a couple of these at a time. And see. If you see anything that doesn't look uniform, that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to click on it again. I want to hold down a control key and click this radius and then click right next to it. Yeah. So I want to go from here to here and hit delete. You can always hit undo if you grab too much and just intersect the two lines. Then I want to go from here. I didn't go far enough. Here to here. And hit delete. And intersect those two lines. Then this corner right here, that, that's open. I can see that's open right there. I'm going to delete that. Reconnect it. Um, select all. All right, that looks a lot better. Here and here, I don't see any other oddities. You can usually, by looking at the little dots, you can see the oddities. If you see two little dots next to each other, there's an opening in between them. If they're sitting on top of each other, almost. Um, all right, I want to take this one and group it. I want to select everything, hold down the control key, take these three out of that outside group, click on line group here, select on it. We'll go ahead and save it again and take it back and see how it looks now. Got to export it. If you forget to export it, you're going to end up going to D2 and C, looking at the same drawing as before. So now we'll go back to D2 and C. Say restart, import, outside, open, next, bottom left, offset. We got an opening here, and we got an opening here. You can tell by clicking on a drawing where the opening is going to be. Uh, let me click on that again, and we'll see if I still have an opening in the top. Try to find it. Okay, these two lines aren't intersected, and these two lines aren't intersected. So I need to go back in there. There's got to be something in right in this area here. So uh, go back to the drawing. Ah. Click on D2 and C and see where it was again. Okay. Let's go back to the drawing. We need to look closely right here. So zoom to the area here. Take my select tool. Can't do that. I have to collect, pick this, ungroup it. Now I can zoom to the area. Ah, see that little dot? We need to delete that out of there. We need to zoom to the area again. Okay, let's pick, let's hold down a control key and select this line and this line and zoom to the area and see if they're connected. Yes, they are. Okay, let's hit the equals key and we want to select this area and see if there's a little dot left in there. don't see a little dot so we want to select this hold down a control key and select this there is a problem there I have a dot on a dot so that's telling me there's not a connection there go to view 
I'm sorry, view zoom. I get jumpy jumpy again. Selection. And if you look right there, there's not a connection. There's something right there. I don't know what it is. Let me see if I can pick it up again. Holding down the control key. These two lines are not intersected. I should not have two dots here. So let me delete off this line again. Just pick this one. Okay, I only have one dot there. So let's draw a line. Starting from back here. Pick that up. I thought we'd done this before. I'm going to swing in from the back side and come in on it. Then hold down a control key. I want to select this line. And now we only have one dot there. So we should be okay. Um, you know, this happens. So we're going to go File, Save. <coughs> File, Export. Same name. Override it. Oh, D2 and C. Restart. Import DXF. Open. Next. Bottom left. Offset. And if you see, they're all yellow. So they're all closed in now. Finally fixed it. So that's how you fix the drawing. they got to be yellow or you can't machine it properly. Um... Now there's just lines going into each segment. I got a line making a move right here. And if uh, it's not going to be a problem because I'm not going to select it, but there's a dot on the screen. If I zoom in right here, if you look, you can't even see it, but there's a dot in the screen somewhere there. That's why there's a red line going to it. Um, you know, just to teach you the right way. I, I'm not going to select that dot so it won't end up screwing with the with the machining, but I'm going to go back to their drawing and delete that out, and you won't even be able to see it. But let me go ahead and go back, and we'll do it again because this is going to be errors that you'll you'll have if you're trying to use it. And I believe it was right here. Got to find it. Well, click on D2 and C again. It's right outside that radius. Right here. There it is. Delete that little dot out of there. File. Save. File. Export. And no telling what it came from. It could have been just a mouse click on the screen or something draw drawing. So... Go back to D2 and C. We'll restart. Import. Open. Gotta zoom out. You can actually this button up here will bring it back into the screen. Click next. Bottom left. <coughs> Offset. We're gonna go. Um, I'm going to cut all the outside and these pockets for a quarter inch. Um, these don't have to have really squared corner. What, what's coming up through these squared holes is the push rods to the rocker arms. and the, Obviously, the push rods are round, so they're never going to go back into the corners anyway. Um, so for my purposes, I just, I'm going to... Uh, Use a quarter inch cutter to cut out the whole entire outside. That starts from the very top of the part and works its way down because this this part, this part here and here are still full height. And the top of this corner from the last section is still full height. So this all has to start from zero and cut down. Um, they can all be selected at the same time because they're all going to go from zero completely through and we need to find out how far how tall this actual part is from our drawing for the full depth so we're going to select the outside and both square holes we're going to move those to path we're going to contour have to click local shape none 
We're going to select all three of them because they're all starting at the same height and then ended at the bottom. This time I'm not going to forget to move them in. The full depth. Now I got to go back to my drawing and get a measurement. We got to go back to a different drawing and let's reopen this one. Hit equal sign so I can see everything. Something's messing up and I hope it's not my recording. Um, I don't know what we have going on here. I'm going to close the machine shop and reopen it. Oh, come on, don't mess up now. Uh, I'm just going to click close the program. We've already saved all the files. Hopefully this will get out of this and come back to what I'm trying to do. I'm going to wait a second here. Go to task manager. Okay. I got it closed down. We're going to reopen the e machine chop. I gotta bring it back over here. Reopen it. All right, hit the equal sign. That's what I tried to do last time. We'll see if it works. All right, brought everything back into view. What I need to know is the overall height. So we're just gonna draw a line, and this will be um, Yeah, these two these two holes are going to go all the way through, and then we're going to totally cut out the outside. So I, I'm going to draw a line from the top of here to the top of here. And then for measurement pur purposes, I need to come into the very bottom. I probably should zoom, but to there. And see how deep, how long that line is. And it is 1.123. So I can use an inch and a quarter piece of material to do this. 1.123. So let's go back to D2 and C. This is 1.123. We'll take 20,000 step. Top of the material is zero. Tool diameter is 0 0.250. We should have had this. Alrighty, I am selected. Got to back out of here. Did something wrong. Okay, we're going to go to path again. Going to click contour. I didn't do any offsets. Oh my god. Back to shape. Click offset. I forgot to tell it to offset the insides and select these. I need to select this one, this one, this one, and select offset. Um, there we go. Now. Now I can go to path. I got ahead of myself again. Contour. At least I caught it before I had to redo the whole video. Local shape. None. Select a three. Move these. One point. One point one two three. We're going to make it 1.125, just so we're sure we go through. 1.125. Um, step 20 thousandths. Uh, material top is zero. This time it did bring over my cutter. I'm going to run my speed up to 2,000. Uh, we are going to ramp these. You got to make sure that this number is smaller than this number. And 
we're going to add and close. It's selected. We're going to generate the G code. Go back to Mach 3. And now there is our two holes in cutting out the outside of our part. We have to save this. So we'll say edit G code. File. Save as. Got to put it on my desktop. This is step four. Make sure you leave that dot tap there. If you can't find it, start click on the bottom here when you go to select it to do it. And it's saved as a text file if you can't find it. That's, that's fine. You can use it that way. Um, we're going to call it uh, outside. Square holes. Step four. I forgot. Step four. Step four. Outside square holes. We'll save it. Go ahead and close this. Close the G code. Load G code. And there it is, outside square holes, and open it. Okay, so um, now let's go ahead, I guess since I'm not screwing up this video too bad, and um, put all the G code together. Where it, The only thing it's going to ask is for tool changes. You know what, I'm going to wait and do it all in one video. Um, that way this upload to YouTube doesn't take so long. So the next video will be assembling step one through four. Since it's all the machine work done to the top of the part, we'll uh, edit and assemble that all into um, one file. So that the file just continuously goes from process to process. And then um, the only thing it's pausing for is for the change tools. So I'm going to stop right now and then uh, come back in a little bit.